RTX, previously known as Raytheon Technologies, has announced that the U.S. Air Force successfully completed the first flight test of the AIM 120C8 missile, the latest international variant of AMROM developed under the form FIT function F3R refresh. According to a press release from RTX, the AIM 120C8 was fired from an F 15C Eagle and downed the aerial target, meeting all primary objectives for the flight test. The core objective of this test was to execute a long-range shot that physically stressed the new missile hardware. Successful execution proves the redesigned hardware and software are progressing as expected and puts us one step closer to fielding a reliable, sustainable air-to-air -air capability to the warfighter. AMROM is a combat-proven missile trusted by more than 40 international partners for both air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missions. With the advancements from F3R, which updates both the missile's hardware and allows for future agile software upgrades, we are maximizing the capabilities of this munition for allies around the world. Under the F3R program, engineers used model-based systems engineering initiatives and other digital technologies to upgrade multiple circuit cards and advanced processors in the guidance section of the missile and to rehost legacy software in the AIM-120D3 and AIM-120C8 AMROMs. The $125 million F3R program began in December 2021 and included new software and missile guidance systems tailored to rapidly evolving threats. F3R upgrades multiple circuit cards to address obsolescence, enhances the weapon's capabilities, and extends the production line for the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Navy and Allied partners. This AIM-120C8 flight test follows the completion of flight testing of the AIM-120D3. Flight testing on the AIM-120D3 was completed in just 11 months after the initial flight test and concluded with showcasing the success of the missile in a highly contested environment. The live fire of the AIM-120D3 is the first of five planned missile shots to qualify the new missile for production and fielding. Recently, the U.S. Air Force awarded Raytheon a $1.15 billion AMROM contract to produce AIM-120D3 and C-8 missiles for 19 countries. AMROM has an all-weather, beyond-visual-range capability. It improves the aerial combat capabilities of United States and Allied aircraft to meet the threat of enemy air-to-air -air weapons. The missile features the ability to home on jamming, giving it the ability to switch over from active radar homing to passive homing, homing on jamming signals from the target aircraft. Software on board the missile allows it to detect if it is being jammed and guide on its target using the proper guidance system.